When it comes to video on social media, you should have a choice whether to watch it or not. But as we learned Wednesday, following the tragic shooting of a reporter and photographer live on the air, we didn't have many options as the shocking video automatically played on our timelines. I had a better experience. When gunman Vester Flanagan shared the video of his angle on his Facebook account, it was quickly flagged and his account disabled. But not before others opted to retweet it some 800 times and share it on Facebook nearly 400 times. The murders of Allison Parker and Adam Ward in your face spreading like wildfire without warning. It's really frustrating when I don't want to see some kind of stuff and it disappears on your feed. Most normal people aren't searching for murders on Facebook or things like that. So, I mean, it, it shocked me and it's not, it's something I wish I hadn't seen. They just want you to see it. Um, that's it, just plain and simple. According to Anne Marie Dooling, head of social media evocative, social networking sites enable autoplay to literally get more eyes on active content regardless of its context, all in an effort to engage. It's a big topic, a lot of people are talking about it, so Facebook is going to put video in front of you and they're going to put a trending topic in front of you. So something like this is going to be almost inescapable. And it was causing an uproar on where else? Social media. One user tweeting, Twitter and Facebook autoplay videos made me witness the murder of someone from multiple angles today. Good job, technology. This isn't the first time autoplay has come under fire. Last year, gruesome videos of beheadings at the hands of ISIS caught users off guard. Now, if you want to be more in control with what you watch on Facebook and Twitter, you can disable this autoplay feature. It's very simple. On Twitter, go to your settings on your upper right-hand profile pic and uncheck video autoplay in the content section. And on Facebook, go to your settings, go to videos on the left-hand column and turn the autoplay off. And like they say in the subway, if you see something, say something, as users have more power than they think. People are reaching out to users to develop, you know, user-generated content systems, flagging systems for anything that goes wrong. I am Andrew Ramos, Pix11 News.